Hi everybody, Light Chip Chaplin here again today, and I was uh, going to do a little quick video today about something Brother Justin and I have been talking about, and uh, I thank the Lord for him because uh, he is an older brother in the Lord than me, but however, we can share a lot of truths in our lives about how uh, the agents uh, of the adversary have worked and uh, tried to crush our spirits. And as a person who's been in ministry, quote unquote, for some time now, started off in street ministry and uh, have moved into my own ministerial, um, I don't know, uh, ministerial functions with the uh, U.S. Chaplain uh, Fellowship, I wanted to uh, make this little video today uh, in uh, explaining how the way to God is down. Many people uh, want to be a God to others. They want to be the leader, which is human nature, and of course, that's not God's nature. So without further ado, I'm going to talk about how to walk in the Holy Spirit um, and God's nature as opposed to human nature. So, the way to God is down. I have spent a long enough time in ministry to know that most men want to be the leader to others in learning of Christ. Unfortunately, God does not work in this matter of a pecking order. Rather, the Lord wants to be able to speak to his sheep in a one-on-one -on -one relationship to those who hear his voice. Our Lord must first humble a man of God to the point which makes him solely dependent upon the Lord to move and function. This runs contrary to human nature, as it is God's nature that must be made manifest in Christ to any man given the gift of a ministry. I have written this today as I am finally coming into the understanding as to why it has been so difficult to learn how to follow my Lord. Uh, in short, people want to insert themselves between you and your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. In a sense, they seek to be God to others rather than simply shepherding sheep to their rightful master. In the Western world, in particular, this is done by educating the mind with doctrines, theology, and a good delivery system. Yet the spiritual world, the Lord draws people unto himself by humbling them and showing them that they can do nothing without him or his leading. So that's, um, that's what I wrote today. And um, I just wanted to uh, get this out in the audio to people because I'm finding that um, I, I'm suffering a lot of rejection from the church from people in uh, so-called leadership positions, so-called elders, uh, people that are trapped in the systematic theologies like they were um, on the time of Christ came the first time with the scribes and Pharisees. And this is a trap of human nature. Men want to be leaders. They don't want to humble themselves before their Lord and listen to the Lord and be obedient to his leading. No, they'd rather have a systematic theology, which is much easier to do. It doesn't, it doesn't take any type of um, being crushed uh, in, in and of ourselves to be able to follow the Lord when you use a systematic theology. In fact, you can be a mountain climber, a goat, and goats love to climb mountains. And uh, sheep, all they want to do is follow. They want to uh, be with their master. And these goats, people, uh, wolves in sheep's clothing, want to uh, have people follow them, really, rather than the Lord Jesus Christ, because they have built something up for themselves in the world, and this is normally done, as I said, in the Western world through a theological and doctrinal understanding. However, this is not how the Lord Jesus Christ works. The, the Lord Jesus Christ works through spirit. We know our 
uh, brothers and sisters through spirit. We know truth through spirit. We move in spirit. Uh, in dependency upon our Lord, not independent of him. So religion offers a way that men can be God rather than God being God. And this has crushed the spirit within me for, for many years. I didn't understand why I couldn't gain acceptance in the world. I didn't understand why people couldn't uh, um, or had difficulty accepting the things that I said. Uh, one of the earliest things I said to a pastor of church is that don't put God in a box. But as soon as I walked into the office, he didn't really want to hear anything that I had to say. And as a matter of fact, as I said before in another video, they taught him in seminary when a parishioner comes in and says something to you, duck. And now I'm understanding why that happens, because they don't want the Holy Spirit moving uh, within their organization as a true fellowship, as a true place of fellow believers. No, they have to have a leader, a spiritual head, a spiritual authority. Well, newsflash, the only spiritual authority we have, if we are truly born again, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, God can put brothers uh, in leadership. He can put people in our path to give us direction to how to co come into a closer relationship with our Lord in and of ourselves so we can hear his voice and understand his leading. That's what a true minister does. Okay, he ministers to other sheep that are truly the Lord's and how to follow the Lord more closely. But he's talking about, these are talking about spiritual things, not theological things. And what I've noticed is the church likes to make everything theological or doctrinal. But spiritual things are simply that. They are spirit. So you have to learn how to walk in the Holy Spirit of the Lord. And the only people that know how to walk in the Holy Spirit of the Lord are the people that possess the Holy Spirit of the Lord. And all these other people are but counterfeits, antichrists, to people that truly hear his voice. And this is something that has taken me a long time to discover in the world. A long time of being beaten up and rejected. But Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And, you know, a, um, you're not greater than your master. So you're going to be persecuted. You're going to be rejected if you truly belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I found that the, the best people, the most effective people Satan uses are clergy types to, uh, you know, put you on the on their path, how they see it from their perspective, which if they don't have the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ living and dwelling within them is they are dead men walking. They are dead. They are spiritually dead. So how can um, darkness have fellowship with light? It cannot. Well, anyway, that's a uh, that's the end of this little video I'm doing today, and I just wanted to uh, encourage people that if you do truly know the Lord, follow him in your heart, in your spirit, and don't let these antichrists, these false Christs, throw you off track. Always go back to the Lord in prayer and have the Lord show you using um, situations around you and other people around you that he leads you to. And Start to be able to discern of when God's speaking to you through somebody and when he is not. When it's just an intellectual thing as opposed to being a spiritual truth that God's trying to show you in your life. All right, brothers and sisters, God bless. Bye-bye.